what is going on everybody it's a heat wave i'm sweating even in the ac it's wild now on the coattails of our crazy alpha pool if you guys watch the stream if not it'll probably be aaron i think after this video i just have to get the footage from the team um i i did get this play map um while you, you can't see the uh amazing signature here I did get this play mat while at the Cortison Cup, and Truett did indeed put some put some sketches on here. So, if, if that's not awesome, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I ordered these two boxes from the UK. They were supposed to be summer, and when I pulled, yeah, no summer here, no summer to be found. They're beautiful condition boxes. I did open one summer I got from Japan that was, it was just beat up. It was just like someone dropped it. Uh, this is a commercial. Buy my hats. Hats. So comfy. Hats. 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 Buy some hats. All right, pardon the commercial break there. Pardon the interruption. So yeah, I, I thought this would be summer. It's not. I had a beat up summer box. Um, I pulled one unique foil on that. I did open some summer while at the Cortison Cup. I know this is a long intro, guys, and you, you got to live with it. Um, I did open some summer at the Cortison Cup, and I'm starting to notice the the clumping isn't as much of a thing in the summer. I'm starting to notice around one or so unique foil per box. I did pull this crazy death speaker, um, this crazy death speaker foil in my box. Um, Spin Scott, Scott was with me. He pulled one. My friend Jim pulled a foil death speaker. So it was a, it was a wild death speaker day. So we're going to open this box here. I know it's not a summer box and I wanted it to be very, very, very much because I'm trying to collect the full summer set as well, but it is a box. It's a nice looking box. And you know, if uh, the clumping is good, we'll open the other one. If not, I'll leave it for a future occasion where we most likely won't find anything in the future. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. All right, we got our topper. We've got a million toppers at this point. I just love this playmat, guys. This playmat, I'm gonna like cherish this thing for the, forever. Um, very good. Uh, again, yeah, absolutely not summer. Look at geyser. Wish I could pull a summer geyser for you guys right now to compare. You, it's it's hard to see on camera in terms of the differences. Um, but summer is just incredibly vibrant and we got a bedrock coming in um, All you earthen decks you better be playing bedrock. You better be playing bedrock if you're not Well when you get rooted You won't have any sights Okay, let's see Leap crater eyes, okay pit the tufted spin Obviously, we're looking for some curios, but I, I don't expect it. Um, I'm a little bit concerned just from the fact that the seller told me that this was summer, and it's not. So I truly don't expect to get anything of, of substance here. But I'm opening it just because <laughs> I was thinking I was going to open a box today. I was like, oh, it, it came in. My summer's here. No, uh, <laughs> it's not summer. It's here. It's just not summer. It's just not summer. Well, it's summer outside. It's it's a scorcher. It's like it's crazy how hot it is out there. Fire harpoons in center. Oh, whoa, some mud flow. Already I'm liking this box. I love exceptional sight boxes. Um, call me crazy. Call me crazy. I know. Sight boxes. They're, they're, they're just the best. So we'll see what we get. We got the Forge, Trolls, Muse, Leopard. Okay. Okay. Mirage. I did get to trade for a couple Curios, which I was really happy about. Um, plus, I was playing in the Cortison Cup and I lost. This one guy I was playing against gave me a sample card 
for the loss. Like that's wild. I got a I got a wall of air sample card, which don't get me wrong, I appreciate greatly. I ended up trading it towards hang on. Oh no, hang on. Alright, I thought it was a bad scene. I ended up trading it towards the Curio Adept Illusionist. So while sample cards are awesome and they're probably going to be worth a ton in the future, to me, I'm trying to do a full completionist set of beta. So to me, th this is obviously like, you know, top for me. So we got the Ignis Vipers. We got Mortality, Sam, Raul. Okay. Some Knights. Okay. We'll track her. Ooh, we got a foil. What do you got? We got a foil. We got a foil. We got a foil. Got a foil. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll take a seer every single day of the week. Jeez. Why tell you guys about holding foil avatars? This, to me, this is like the main thing I'm gonna hold in into the apocalypse is foil avatars because everyone's gonna want one when seer becomes meta. Three sets from now? You're going to want to play with a foil seer? Come on. Pretty awesome, huh? Geomance? First unique, we got the plague. Plague of the frogs. Torshimer. Okay, so we got four foils coming in right off the bat. Um, three exceptionals. We got one elite. Seer's technically an elite. Technically. Technically an elite, but definitely more than an elite. We got the death dealer, the dealer of the death. And he's here. He's here with us. Oh, yeah. We might be opening that other box. Death dealer is a great omen, guys. Excellent omen. Excellent omen. We got the star seeds. Okay, coming in for unique number three. Mage tufted. Okay, okay. Vile. The imp. Vile imp. Curse freeze. Another death <laughs> death dealer. God, what does that happen? What does this happen ever? What in the world? <laughs> this. I'm just now. I'm like. This is. This is a wild box. This is. The only other time this happened was um, at the West Virginia Qualifier. I bought some Alpha packs, and I opened two Alpha Franzetta Death Dealers in the same box. Yeah. How about that one? How about that one? These aren't quite as good as the Franzetta ones, but, I mean, still pretty awesome. The art on it's amazing, so... I am happy. Drown. Okay. Magnetic muzzle. We got the gravel shot, blizzard, extinguish, and a lightning. Lightning. Thunderstorm for all you enchantress players. Who here has pulled a curio with a foil in the same pack? Please write me. I want to know. Is that possible? Is that possible to pull a foil in the same pack as a curio? We are we are curio hunting for sure too. I'm also hunting some uniques that I need to finish my fourth play set. You guys are like fourth? Yeah, fourth. Fourth. Hounds. You should see the hounds in... I don't have it right here. I was going to say you should see the hounds in summer. What do we got here? Is this going to be a silence? Is this going to be a silence? Polar bears! Those are things that are going to be... Those things are going to be a pretty penny coming uh, in Arthurian Legends playing the uh, uh, Knights of the Round Table, Camelot. If you saw those, you're going to need your polar bears against that. Cave Troll, Spin Attack, Pegasus... Okay. Sorry, I was a little out of frame. 
I shifted the uh, shifted the frame oh, just a little bit, little hounds, a little bit for the hounds, nomads, bears. We're missing about three to four uniques depending on the box, and we're missing about three foils. And there we go, color out of space. I actually need this one for one of my play sets. Awesome, awesome. Anytime you pull a foil avatar, though, holy cow, dream quest. Yep, yep, there we go. I think I actually do need this one for my uh, for one of my play sets as well. So we will take it. Now, I got a surprise for y'all. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I did buy some cases while I was at um, um, yeah, Cortis and Cup. Bearish, they're really awesome. We're gonna see what we can do. Our last pack, if we have all the foils, if we have all of the um, uniques, we're gonna go ahead and sleeve it up in here and I'll show you guys this. So, pretty awesome. Um, I already broke one, so I know what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm a pro. Uh, you, yeah, it's considered a dull affair if you don't break at least one, uh, one booster case, right guys? Um, oh, pikemen. Nice. Strikes first while attacking. Awesome. Love my mortals. I got my mortals deck. It did pretty well. It did pretty well. I'm just not as competitive as some folks are. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm just not not the competitive type. I like to play um, casual competitive, right? Casual competitive. We got the observatory. Men of the Lang. Scourge. Boars. Sism. Um, you know, maybe if I was a little more competitive, my dad, you know, I'd have performed better. I'm just, I don't know. I just, I, you know, I'm, there, I'm there to have fun. The best part was getting that sample card on the loss. Like, I was the real winner on that one. Um, I did go one and two. Uh, and I had to drop on my third match because I needed to do the alpha opening. So, I, I might not have dropped if things were going a little better than that. Oh, I thought I might have had something there. Extinguish. Oh, what in the world? We got, we got two trinkets, two death dealers. Come on, guys. Trinkets? Trinkets? Trinkets. As if one trinket's not enough. If one trinket's not trinkets, too many trinkets. Purge, Bosk, the men, the exorcism. Master Tracker, Barry, Riptide, Cauldron, Crones. This box was like on the cusp. Where it's like it's not amazing, but it's enough that it's like making me curious. What's in the other box? Tadpole pool coming in for a unique number seven. Seven. And uh, that might be all we get here. We might not get an eighth. How many packs do we have left? We have four packs left. So we're going to try to sleeve one. Actually, how many foils? Three, six, seven. Eight. We have eight foils. If this isn't a foil, I'm going to. Oh, there's our eighth. Okay. Eighth is gigantism. I'm going to try to weigh them in my hand and see if I can tell you which pack has the foil. Can we play the foil game? We're going to play the foil game. There's three packs left. Okay, which pack has the foil? That's. I need I need the same hand. I'm going this one. No, I'm going this one. Undertaker engine. Okay. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong, guys. Can I pick it right this time? I'm going with the one I had, number two. <laughs> it's wrong. Oh, this is it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put it in the the last one in the bearish case. Capus. We got the bolt, fire bolts, Bosk, and some pixies coming in. Okay. So let's see if we can do this without um, any any uh, loss of life here to the case. 
they're really awesome so you can put like the case uh, you know the collector the game set release date etc um i don't do that i don't really i don't really care i just want to i just want to protect my packs um i have a judgment pack behind me if you guys can see it just because i love judgment it's just so much judgment so much judgment okay here's the case hang on got one of those ridge wallets so you guys are hearing a lot of a lot of stuff you don't want to necessarily hear today right uh i got one of those ridge wallets and there's a space on this side you see if you ever get one of these cases there's two spaces up here you don't do you don't do that side right i thought i was reading the directions and i did that correctly and i was not correct at all so we're gonna we're gonna do this well we do it right if i break it you guys are gonna hear you guys are gonna hear if I do. I think I didn't break it. There we go. Okay. We're in. We cracked the safe. So we place the pack. Place said pack on in center of said protection. Place protective slots in said protection and close said case as such. And there it is absolutely stunning bearish this is uh, a top-notch uh, pack protector arguably I enjoy this much better than even the graded pack slabs that they have this is this is top-notch um, you know as long as you open it correctly you don't open it on this side you open it on that side this is this is fantastic so Top notch. Um, this will now sit in the realm behind me for eternity, right there. And you'll see it in every video going forward. You're still watching? Give me a like on that. Talk to you later.